come to you today as someone who carries within him the true aspirations of Zeon. Hello everyone, welcome to the Zeon Remains channel. And in today's video we're taking a look at a, a custom modification that I did to a Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figure. Now you can see here we have Sub-Zero and we have Scorpion. Um, and these figures are pretty cool. Um, they do come with uh, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 masks. This is an example of the Mortal Kombat 2 masks. And this is an example of the Mortal Kombat 1 mask. Um, now the thing that some people dislike about these figures is that all the ninjas are basically palette swaps of each other. Which, by technicality, that is how it is in the game. But when you get a figure, you want a little bit more variation than just a color swap. So when I got my reptile figure, I had a really cool idea. I wanted to make a different mask for him so that he looks different than Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And with that in mind, I present to you a custom mask for my Storm Collectibles reptile, the Mortal Kombat movie mask. Now, some people really dislike this mask from the movie. I always liked it. I th always thought it was super cool. And I thought it would be an interesting take on Reptile to do for his mask. Now some of you guys are wondering, well Raven, how did you do this? Well, I use my handy dandy Avis Fix-It Sculpt, which is a two-part epoxy. Actually, I have it right next to me. You have a part A, and you have a part B. And you mix those together, and Reptile falls over. <laughs> uh, you mix those together, and... Um, you have about an hour to work with. You can sculpt and carve and do all kind of cool stuff. Then I went ahead and I painted it in a gunmetal and then I did a black wash to accentuate all the cool details in the actual mask itself. Now some of you are looking this and screaming and you're about to type on your keyboards and say why would you do that to a $60 figure? And my answer to you is no, I did not permanently attach this to the figure. I am a very smart man, and I actually made this 100% removable. Now, yes, the figures without the masks are creepy as hell. I made this removable. As you can see on the inside of the mask, I have a brass tube there that goes in and out of the figure, just like the actual masks do that come with the figures, as so. So with that, I did not mess up this figure. If I wanted to go ahead and sell it, I still can. And I can go ahead, if I want to swap out the masks, I can do that too. I think this came out really well. It's definitely um, differentiates him from his other ninja brothers. And that's basically what I wanted. I wanted to have a different mask for one of them. If I ever get any more ninjas from this line, I might do the same thing. And also, I was thinking, some people might actually be interested in these. If I decide to go ahead and learn how to cast, I might try and cast this because this is a custom piece, something that I did 100% by myself. Um, if people are interested in getting this mask for their reptile figure, let me know in the comments below. I might attempt at making more or casting it and making copies of it and selling it on my eBay account. Um, let me know, let me guys know if that's something you guys want and I'll see what I can do. I have been wanting to learn how to cast anyway, so this might be a good thing to start practicing on because it's not too, it's really small obviously, um, and it might be a good place to start. But ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of this modification in the comments below. This was a cool little side project I wanted to do for my Mortal Kombat figures. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more creative content, and go down if you like the game Destiny and you want to represent your master race or master class, go ahead to my Design by Human store in the description below and, and buy yourself a Team Titan, a Team Warlock, or a Team Hunter shirt to help support the channel. Thanks again for watching, and as always, Zeon!